Hey guys, what's up, and welcome to episode 48 of the Bournemouth FC career mode. That's right, so this is going to be the look of the squad. Either way, I uh, made a few changes to the lineup, um, as really our squad depth is, or lack thereof, is starting to show a bit. But I am going to bring back uh, Lemos into defense. Uh, Fosamins had a nice run, but. Either way, uh, Chelsea has an excellent team. Uh, my god, is that Eden Hazard? Please tell me that's Benucci, right? Cause that if that's Eden Hazard, that haircut is laughable. Um, but yeah, I've wanted to play with Sonda, but for some reason he has had really low stamina for a while. So that's kind of concerning there, cause he's a fantastic player. Just he's had no energy. Hey guys, what is up? And welcome to the first game of the episode. We are playing against Chelsea, and uh, it was a fantastic start to the episode. Um, however, we really uh, did poorly after that. So uh, that was a little bit disappointing. Uh, hopefully we can regain some of that form that really had me feeling like I was high flying for the game. So um, yeah, Chelsea's lineup is very solid. Uh, it's really fantastic. And um, I, someone who I'd love to play with in the future but I doubt I ever will get a chance to is uh, Eden Hazard. Honestly, Hazard is such a fantastic player to use. And uh, enough about Hazard though, it's time to take a look at the two lineups. Uh, like I said, um, I made a bunch of changes to our lineup because as we need to prepare for the game against Saint-Étienne, given we need to score uh, two goals to uh, make it through to the semifinals of the Europa League there. So, in addition, uh, Callum Wilson is going to be back in the lineup, So, but uh, Chelsea's lineup is strong. Batshuayi is up front, um, and he's, Eden Hazard is always a dangerous player there. There may be a chance I can pick off a player or two from Chelsea, given their just squad depth. Maybe the price will be... Oh, Willian, just showing his absolute pace there. Burning me down the wing. Guerrero gets completely done on the wing. Oh my goodness, and we have conceded. This is disaster. Nemanja Matic heads it in. And honestly, we had a certain sense of unity before, and that unity has seemed to just go oh come on oh oh man what a tackle from Kurt Zuma there and uh, yeah it's been frustrating we haven't played bad but uh probably gonna have to make a double substitution though I swear to god why does Charlie Masanda have no freaking stamina okay so uh Jordan Ibe is gonna come on for um Jordan Ibe is gonna come on and then um I'm gonna put on Will Hughes uh, he's gonna play on the. Uh, he's gonna play on the right. Prayer's gonna come to the middle, and uh, that's when we when we go. So that is what we are gonna be going with, for in terms of positioning as we make a few changes to our lineup. Come on, there we! Oh, what a chance for Callum Wilson there, but a great save from Thibaut Courtois. Come on. Oh, just a little bit too high. That could have been a chance there. Oh, what a save from Donnarumma, honestly. I don't understand what's wrong with our team. Really, our de lack of depth is really starting to show. As, uh, yeah, we're struggling for fitness. Now, Hazard. Hazard's gonna... It's in. Now, Wilson. Come on, Callum Wilson. Use your... Come on. Uh, with this in. Okay, it's gonna be cleared by the defender and out of play for our three. Oh my goodness! I just messed up the drilled shot. Come on, whip this off for frick's sakes! No! Wow, and we have slipped up to another loss. We are really slipping up now. Um, and yeah, just our performances have been dreadful, honestly. We. I don't know what to say. I, I can't explain this away. This is just dreadful from us. Our. I think Fosu Mensa may come back into the side as uh, I wasn't overly impressed with uh, Mauricio Lemos. There's just something about him that he just doesn't seem to have that defensive, like, that he'll stay back there, which is what I want from my center backs. But yeah, so we're going to make a couple changes to the lineup uh, before we get into this game. Uh, Willems is going to come back in the uh, left back position. Um, Fosu Mensa is going to come back in the uh, center back position. And, uh, Pereira is going to be replaced by Charlie Masanda. So, uh, but yeah. So, we are going to be getting into the next game. So, 
in reality, we are in desperate need of a victory here. We really want to move on. At least for me, I want to make it to the semifinal. They want us to win the cup, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that. Uh, it's the same sort of deficit that we had against Inter, but Inter only had one away goal. While, thanks to my stupidity, uh, Santistien have two. Either way, so now we're going to be getting into the second game of the episode. We are playing against Saint Etienne yet again. Barrett scored one good goal and then one stupid goal in the last game. So he has two goals, which means he's deservedly the player to watch. Um, Gabriel Barbosa has really spurned some chances, but I've been trying to do the driven shot, and I may just have to revert back to the just basic shots because... While I see some other YouTubers use it and they're really effective in it, I just seem to be screwing up with it way too much where I should just be focused on getting goals any way possible. Either way, this is going to be our lineup. We are putting our full strength squad in here as we really want to grab a victory and actually advance to the next round. Uh, Fosu Mensa comes back in. That's my main addition personally. As uh, Lemos, well, he's five ratings higher, just isn't defensively as solid. Uh, Silent at the end yet again. Uh, very good lineup. Uh, Kovalenko is in there yet again. So um, it's a dangerous team. We just really uh, we have to go. Off. Oh my goodness! Wow. No 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 no. Wow. Um, wow. My defense. I don't know what's happened. My game's really fell on off recently. Now, nice pass over to Masanda. Masanda, oh, what a chance there. And what a save from Ruffier. Come on. Fosumenta. Oh, wait. Come on, header that in. Oh, it's punched away. Hello, bitch, hello. Uh, that's the end of the first half. Um, there's nothing really that my team's doing wrong. I've just played incredibly poor. Oh my goodness, wow. Um, I nearly just gifted them a free goal. And you're really, I'm really starting to question some of my offensive de or defensive decision making. Now Masanda. Oh, come on. Are you joking me? How do you make that challenge? I do that nine and a half times out of ten. I get a foul. The CPU does it every single time. It's just free play on. And just our defense is incredibly shite. Oh, that's it. We're crashing out of the Europa League. 9 on 11 or something like that. There's just no inspiration up front. Oh, Masanda, I took that back. Charlie Masanda! Oh, there we go! Charlie Masanda puts it in. And so, we have a potential chance here. And the question is, right? So, if we score another goal... Are we tied on away goals? So, we have a chance here. We have to go very much attacking, though. One, header that in Martial. Oh, no, that's it. We're out. We are out of the Europa League. And, uh, nope. Wow. Disappointment. Honestly, we are just so, so, so freaking subpar, man. So either way, we're going to be getting into the third and final game of the episode. We are playing against Manchester United. So, uh, what can I say? We've been poor recently, and we really need to get our uh, finger out of our you-know-what. Honestly, like, just... <sighs> Why are we playing this bad? And plus, we've really flopped at the moment we needed it the most. Honestly, uh, I have to take full blame for that elimination. If that wasn't that for that one-headed goal that I gave Saint-Etienne... Uh, you never know. It could have gone into extra time. Instead, I mucked it up myself. Wow. Either way, now, so we're going to be getting into the third and final game of this episode. We are playing against Manchester United. And please, God, can we actually get a win? So, over to Martial now. Martial, come on. Oh, my goodness. Wow. And De Gea is forced into a save. Now, Hulovic can whip this in. Can be headed in. Josemir Jimenez. Ah, oh, just can't get something to it. Whipped in again. Come on. Whoops! It's a frick sake it's again. We've had a we had a positive start to a certain degree, but then we've been dreadful ever since. No 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 no
It's just the goals I'm conceding. Look at this. Look at this tackle. Look at this. Look at this freaking joke. And of course, this is what I mean. This is the difference between my left back and every single AI left back. I can't make any tackles. The Shilio is terrible. They're all, oh my god, do they all play like six at the back? Because whenever I come through, right? They're all so defensive. I can't play against them. Oh my, I will Hughes! That's it, that's it, you're getting off, you're getting off, you're getting off. You have one chance, you have one thing to do. Get off the field and you're not coming on for the next few games. I hate you. You. But yeah, um... I'm at a loss, honestly. We've dropped down like 10 ratings within one episode, man. We're now in fourth. Really, we have collapsed. Utterly collapsed. We had a four-point lead at the top of the table, and we managed to throw it away within two episodes. So, um, yeah, currently we are in third. Honestly, if we don't get a win, um, we could be stuck in fourth and maybe even be stuck competing for fourth, honestly. Yeah, yeah, but that's going to be the end of the episode, so I want to thank you guys for watching. hope you guys enjoyed it, and, uh, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, but I'll see you guys later. My goodness.